one of the best new trendy things to use in your home is gonna be the olive branches. And we've got some in the vase. So there's basically a couple of ways you can do it. For taller things, if you need to fill um, a taller space, you're gonna want to use taller branches like this. Um, we love the olive branches because it's still neutral. Um, it's basically greens with a little bit of black, um, but it has a completely different texture than say this eucalyptus. Now eucalyptus is still a great uh, kind of neutral green that you can use the majority of the year in your home. Um, but once you've chosen the thing that you want to put your greenery in, whether that is this loving cup, this mixed metal uh, copper um, pot, or this is probably our most popular uh, vase. It's an irregular glass vase, so it really takes up room without giving a lot of um, weight to the area. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple of ways you can do this. I'm gonna start with the glass one because it's just the easiest to show you different ways to use it. Obviously, you can take some of those taller stems and put in there, and that's gonna take up a lot of height if you need to fill some space. The second thing you can do is choose something that is kind of a medium height. It's not gonna take, quite up, take up quite as much space as the tall picks. Uh, something like a fern is a really good option for that. It takes up a lot of space outwardly rather than up. This is one of our number one selling combinations here. We've got our feel real tulips, and all you do is plop them down into your glass vase. So this is kind of a great year round look and it can fit into any space and any sort of color scheme that you might have going on in your house. That's one reason why everything that we're working with is going to be um, sort of uh, neutral greenery. So the olive branches, the eucalyptus, the white tulips, the, the running ferns and ivies and things like that. Because it doesn't really matter what color your house is or what sort of um, color scheme you have going, this can kind of go into anyone's style. Um, and so the last thing you might want to use in this glass vase is going to be what we call kind of a running ivy look. Um, now, it will come like this. So what you're gonna need to do is simply separate it. It bends really easily, so that allows you to kind of sit it into your vase and bend it down for a really good natural look. So that's one way you can use it. Now we've got two different sort of vessels. These have wider mouths, so they're not gonna, you won't be able to just sit this in and it not kind of fall over to the sides. We're gonna use a trick using just scotch tape. If you have tape at home, you can do this with pretty much anything. And all you're going to do is create what we call a floral frog. got kind of a grid pattern that we formed with the scotch tape. So now when you sit your pick in it, your pick is going to stay exactly where you initially put it into the vessel. So for this you could you could do the same thing. You could have this sort of um, running look with either your ivy or you could put uh, your fern in there and that would take up uh, a little bit of space or if you wanted you could also sit your olive bush down in there we've got two different sizes um, so this makes a nice statement just all by itself so I hope that helps you a little bit I uh, use greenery in your own home this year um, whether you need something tall or something small just to sit into um, a little bookcase. Hopefully that helps you figure out how you can use greenery in your own home this year.